first of all go to add new section and create a single structure and single element now you have to go to these nine dots and you have to search for advanced tabs and then you just have to click on it and drag and drop it here now it would load for a while and then you will see a default template like this here you can see there are three tabs tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 and uh, you can make it uh, something like uh, one tab shows laptop the other tab shows mobiles and the third tab shows the other electronic accessories but right now we already have given a section for it and we don't want to do that so let's uh, go ahead and uh, just do the things which i told you before that is adding a list of the recent products and adding a list of the best selling products now uh, as we have to do this we only need two tabs not three so you should just go to your general settings section and then content and then you'll see tab title three you just have to click on this cross button and it would load for a while and then you would see that it has been removed and then you can just go to these tab and modify them like the way you need you can also add icons and for the recent products we can just use a home or a cart whatever we like we can use a cloth um, or mobiles right and uh, yes we can just insert it and then what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and remove this sample text and as you can see it has been removed we can go ahead and rename the tab as recent products and then uh, what you have to do is you have to go to a new tab and then you have to search for WooCommerce short codes and here you will see this docs.woocommerce.com and then you have to just click on it so WooCommerce gives us some pre-built codes which we can place on a website for additional functionalities and uh, we can just go ahead and copy the code from here and paste it so you can see the cart code checkout code my account code order tracking form code and then you just have to hover down scroll down until you find this featured products or you can say yes this featured products option and here you can see there's the short code for adding a cart uh, section a checkout section my account and there are many different uh, short codes but the short code we need is featured products and uh, just what we can do that is we have to just select this code and then copy it then we have to go to our element or section you have to go to this text tab here are two tabs visual and text you have to go to the text tab you have to click on it and paste it and then after a while you will see some uh, of your products which you added to your site being displayed here so now let's go ahead and update this and yes you can see that right now you can't see any of the products which you added so this is because we have set the visibility to featured but to achieve what we need here it's recent products so we can just uh, make the visibility to recent and then you'll see that all your products which you added pops up now you are seeing that this uh, mobile phone looks very big and then the resolution is also not so good so what we can do is uh, we can increase the product limit and columns so likewise you can see here our four 
product limit is set to 4 right now. So you can see 4 products here. But uh, what if we set it to 8? You will see that here 8 products come up. Yes. Now you can see that still they are not looking very good. So a thing that we can do to make them better is we can make them in 4 columns. So there would be 4 columns and uh, which would be containing the product and yes you can see now it looks much better and uh, when we are styling the website ahead we would also remove these add to cart buttons and we we'll do many different settings that we need so now uh, let's go ahead and change this tab title to and modify it to what we like now let's go ahead and change this to best selling we can add something like a graph for this one or yes uh, this digital uh, wallet type of thing is good let's remove this sample text and then let's go to short codes included with WooCommerce you can see here it is for featured products but we need it for the best selling products we can just copy it and we can uh, go to the text section we can just paste it and bingo you have done what you wanted to do here if you go to this best selling section you would be seeing uh, this uh, samsung galaxy m21 or whatever products you would have added but if you update it and go to your website in another tab you won't see anything in this best selling tab at first because you haven't sold anything right now so how will it update and come here so the thing is that when you start selling items and you make some sales your best selling products would be shown here which is a very good thing if you also want to manage them and uh, yes you can also make it to uh, four columns and you can set the product limit to eight and in this way it all goes consistently and now our website is starting to get its awesome look. We are done for now guys but uh, we should do one thing that is we should add a bit of padding on the top. So let's just click on this section go to advanced and add a padding of maybe 30 from the top and then hit update. As I already told you when you finish a section you should go and hit update and then let's go and see that how this would look on a mobile device and as we can see recent products best selling yes this looks very cool and when we remove these add to cart options it would also be starting to look very awesome and it would also not take much space on a website when someone is scrolling he can just scroll through one object the second object and he can also see their price and everything so this makes our website responsive and it also is very very good now as we have created the recent products and the best selling section let's now go ahead and create a new section and in this section we would be doing something similar to this so uh, let's just go ahead and create a new section but this time with four elements 